who does EFIT fit for? Hmm. Well, um, you know, basically in our couples, uh, over the years with couples, we've treated every kind of couple you can imagine. Um, and, you know, I think actually that we're going to find that EFIT fits for, you know, almost your, your general psychotherapy client, almost everybody who walks in, because after all, we look at the person not the diagnosis or the specific problem they come in with. We look at how the person deals with their vulnerability. We look at how the person deals with the pain they're in, how they engage with themselves, how they engage with others. And that's relevant to every single diagnosis you can think of. However, um, the study we're looking, the big EFIT study right now, we're looking at what we call emotional disorders. And that's David Barlow's world, word, who's the big um, a CBT guy. I respect him very much. And in my book, I've used his framework to talk about emotional disorders. The fact of the matter is the overlap between depression and debilitating anxiety is huge. It's huge. And he's challenging all the nice little categories we've got in the DSM and saying, wait a minute, these are just labels and they all inter overlap. Right. So what we're finding is EFT works very well for basic depression, basic anxiety. But all, all the whole time that we've used EFT, especially with couples, we've treated trauma survivors. They we've treated them because they would just walk into our offices. They'd walk into the hospital clinic I used to run, you know, couples with with some with one person with huge PTSD symptoms. They just walk in. The, the hospital didn't know what to do with them, you know. Um, so we get sent them. They'd send them to us in droves. And 30 years ago, we didn't know what to do with them either. But they taught us and we learned. And um, so what I feel at this moment is saying to you, I think EFT will be generally, a, EFIT will be generally applicable to what I call emotional disorders. Uh, but particularly we are seeing in clinical practice, and I expect to see in this study, they will reduce the symptoms of depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. So that's what I'm basically, well, that's what we're going for right now. We'll leave things like bipolar until a bit later. But if you ask me, if you really ask me, and I'm really honest, if we can treat that, of course we can. Yeah, we, we can.